All right, guys, it's a day that ends in Y, so that means we're moving on to the next deck. So this is going to be deck number nine, ten, eleven. Yep, so this is deck number nine. Uh, we just played our game with Willa. The bandit, she got smoked. Um, not a bad deck, I just... Nothing too special in it. Um, so let's try to open something special. Saurian Untamed Shadows. This is the smart commander of Ashflat. So some in interesting house combo here. Um, nothing really comes to mind as some weird stuff that we could do here, but so let's see what we have. We have Beware the Ides, Citizen Shrix, Cornic and Octavia, Curse of Vanity, Faust. Perfectus Ludo, okay. With a capture on him, that's cool. Sagittarius Gaze. Double Sagittarius Gaze. City State Interest. City State Interest in Ludo is very nice. Curiosaurus. Hedonistic Intent with a capture and a damage. And then the form of giants. At the start of your turn, the player who controls the most powerful creature gains one amber. Um, well, the most powerful creature doesn't look like us yet. But we are able to exalt the flanks, curias, and perfectus ludo and keep all the amber and then make it hurt him with Faust. So, um, pretty nice Saurian house here. Lots of good exalting effects and protection of that amber. So, um, I'm pretty happy with that. Shadows, we're gonna have a Dark Wave. Frank, Frankus, we have a Mug. Opportunist. Double Opportunist. Seeker Needle. Two Needles. Subtle Auto, okay, nice Needle target. Boss Zarek. Okay, so our that's where a lot of our captures are coming from. Um, some nice synergy with the Saurian house there. Um, a lot of the amber, that, that's gonna make them all elusive, so it'll be hard to, harder to fight into. And even if they do get rid of them, Kyria is gonna be on the table, so they won't be able to do anything about it. We have Fidget, Ransack, and Mastermindy. Team counters with Mastermindy. Um, what do we think about this Shadow's House? It's got some good synergy with with the Saurian House, I think. Um, but Mastermindy, Fidget, Subtle Auto, the Double Needle. I mean, nothing. I'm too too. Uh, I'm nothing too excited about except like. I mean, we can Dark Wave and Seeker Needle, um, and maybe do some damage that way, control the opponent's board. All right, so moving on to Untamed, we have the Dark Fairy, Chloriana's Attendant, the Lost in the Woods, the Niffle Ape, Pismire for some key control, Reclaimed by Nature is good, some good artifact control. We have a Resurgence. Savage Clash is a decent board wipe, especially with Curia can be nice. Song of the Wild. Ritual of the Hunt. Uh, okay. Stampede. 
and a dino beast. One, two, three, four, five. Um, Song of the Wild isn't too impressive here. Not really any good reap effects anyway. Um, so not a lot of, ad, not, not really advantageous to reap. We can't play Song of the Wild out of turn with Ritual of the Hunt either. Um, so that's a bummer. Um, yeah, I gotta tell you, I'm not very excited about the smart commander uh, very much. The Shadow of Saurian House is cool, but the Untamed is, is really kind of letting me down. Um, but, like all others, we have to get it on the table, and we'll see how it goes. Maybe she'll surprise us. So, uh, thanks for watching, Significant Figure, signing off until next time. Have a good one.